is Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, this light. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, first of all, I feel like I look like I'm sunburned. Um, this is just a really good bronzer. But okay, we're gonna ignore that for now. We'll fix it later. Um, but today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Meant to Be collection. So um, I got a couple pieces and they finally came in. So I haven't even opened the package because I thought it'd be so cute to, you know, open on camera because like, why not? So that's what we're going to do. If you guys want to see my first impressions and thoughts on this Meant to Be collection, then please keep watching. We have some of the lip glosses. The brushes were cute. Another stippling. Oh man. I already did my foundation. This is a shadow stick. Yeah. And there are two eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so I got. So I got their Bite Size Mint Melt Eyeshadow in Mint to Be. Um, I think this one's really pretty. I also got another Bite Size Eyeshadow in Chocolate Mint. So these are the two. I really like this one for some reason. I don't know. I like the colors of it a little more, but we'll see. I got this lip gloss in shade Mint Sparkle. It's like a clear gloss with like green sparkle in it. Then I got this shade, this is the lip plumping gloss in Chocolate Chip. Seems like a really pretty shade. I got their shadow stick um, and I also got their Mint Melt Brush set. Oh, I think it's called Mint Melt, not Mint To Be. Whatever, whichever one it is. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes. I kind of wanna go into the Mint To Be eyeshadow palette. So this one has more of the green bases in it, whereas the other one, which is called Chocolate Mint, has like the browns and stuff, but I kind of want to work with the greens today and see like how they play on the eye. And if I want to add some browns, of course, I'll go into that palette. But for now, we're going to work with this one. I love their bite size eyeshadow palettes. They are $3 each and they are just so cute. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get right into this. So I'm going to use the brushes. Oh, I just love it. I got new brushes, new eyeshadows, everything. So I'm going to use the blending brush. Oh, I love the color. Okay. And I'm going to just take the light mint shade. And that's going to go into my crease. There is fallout, but the shadow works. It's $3. I do not mind the fallout. So I'm going to pack it on into the crease. Kind of scared at how, like, chalky this could look on me, but we'll see. I'm just pack patting it on and then I'm gonna blend out once I kind of get it to where I want it. There's a lot of fallout with this one like it's all over my nose. Okay. Cool. I like the way that blends in though, like it doesn't look too crazy of a color. Um, is it patchy? I don't think so. Like I see a little bit of a patch, but I feel like these shadows could be hard to make because like the hot jalapeno one isn't really like this. So maybe these shadow shades are like harder to make, but whatever. So I'm just packing it on and then I'm gonna blend. Make sense? Cool. So I'm gonna wipe away the excess that I do have on my nose. It wasn't crazy. I mean, it was a lot, but okay. Um, I'm gonna take this like eye contour brush and I'm gonna take the deepest shade. It's like a grayish toned green in my opinion. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh. That's a nice shade. This deepest shade in this um, palette is really, really good. Whoa. And this one doesn't have as much fallout as the lighter shade. 
whoa this is beautiful and this brush is perfect this is the eye contour this is the perfect shaped brush to do like an outer corner oh my gosh i'm obsessed okay i don't know this color is just packing on so nicely like extremely nice wow like it went on top of the other shade really well. That's, that's good. Okay. <sighs> Fallout in the pan itself, but I mean, I don't. So I think I want to go into this like second shimmer shade. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use the um, eyeshadow brush. Look at us using all the brushes. That shimmer is beautiful. I know y'all see that on my eye. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Wow. Save my thoughts for the end. There is some fallout on my face from the shimmer shade, but it wipes away very nicely. So I don't really mind. As long as it wipes away and doesn't leave me like with like residue like that, I'm pretty much straight. But okay. Um this is the stick i should have probably used this as a base but i didn't think about it it's like this it's a map oh huh. well that's gorgeous okay i like that I'll, I'll definitely use that of course i mean i got it to use it but okay so I kind of want to add a white liner, so I'm going to do that. This is the ColourPop white liner. It's in shade Exit. Love this liner. That's cute. Oh, I'm living my dream. Hold on. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Retro Paradise liner. And I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in shade Staycation. Love this. I know this collection came with a lot more like things for your face, but I couldn't really get them because of like certain ingredients, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and top this look off with the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss in shade Chocolate Chip. I'm nervous. I know this is going to make it like a brown lip, but like. Ooh, hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Am I tripping? Or do I actually look good? I'm going to spray my face to finish off. And this is the final look. You guys let me know what you guys think down below. But I do have to say, I love this collection. Love the eyeshadows. I have to say, I don't have anything um, that has like these colors. So I'm super excited to continue to like play with them. Um, I love the brushes. Um, this brush set was perfect actually for the um, mini melt eyeshadow palettes, like in general, like 
this brush set is perfect for any of their bite size eyeshadow palettes. So I would do that. Um, I definitely did like seeing the shadow stick. It looks beautiful. I didn't try it, but I'm definitely going to in a future video. So stay tuned for that. This lip gloss is really plumping my lips. I love me a good lip plumping gloss. And I have to say, I really like this color. I was scared it was going to be too brown for my liking. Like, But I like how it kind of sheared out. And like made my nude just like the perfect brown um and of course i would use this one i love this what else um and that's about it i absolutely loved this collection i love the direction that they did i love even the packaging with like the the mint colored um top and everything so you guys let me know what you guys think of the collection down below but i absolutely love it i would try it if you haven't tried their bite size eyeshadow palettes you're really missing out i think they're amazing in general and um look at the products look at the product thank you guys so much for watching you guys let me know down below what you guys think and i hope this review helps you guys don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one bye